what's going on everybody welcome to my channel well welcome to those who are new we're trying to revive the channel anyways my name is alula and i like to talk sports nfl nba soccer potentially sometimes who knows maybe tennis um college basketball anything but college football college football starting to piss me off i'm a kentucky fan you probably know the score of the game if you're watching this video um absolutely pathetic lost 31 to 6 stoops needs to be fired honestly i mean this team just i mean i never have hope going into a season of like actual aspirations but we've been the same goddamn fucking team for like 10 years this shit's getting old all right like we can never pass the ball the offense is you know i just need to make a different video about this i'm going to go off i'm actually going to go off i'm gonna make a rant but let's go in to my favorite series on my youtube channel and that is the eggs that's right goose's eggs are back and better than ever we went positive last season obviously it's what we do um so we're gonna try to start this season off with you know a great week hopefully five and oh without further ado let's get straight into it all right listen First pick, probably my favorite, Bengals minus eight and a half. Listen, all right, the Patriots are just terrible. We don't even need to discuss this a lot. The Patriots are terrible. They're starting Jacoby Brissett. The only reason for concern is, okay, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, are they going to play? Are they not going to play? I think Higgins is going to play. We don't know about Jamar Chase. Um, I guess we'll see on Sunday. But to me, I, I just feel like Joe Burrow's statement game – you know, the Patriots are horrible. Don't think about this too much. The Patriots are bad. Next, Bears, Titans. You might think I would say Bears. I'm a big Caleb Williams guy. Fuck that shit. Listen, the Titans are going to cover. I like plus three and a half. Listen, rookie quarterbacks, they have not been good. They are never good week one. I mean, not never, but almost never. It, it, just, it just doesn't happen. And, you know, to play a team like the Titans who could sneaky be be sneaky good we don't know will levis has the weapons the defense is better than people think Legarius sneed jeffrey simmons among others i mean for rookie quarterback even though he's at home even though he has good weapons even though there's a good defense on the bears three and a half points if you're giving me the hook on that field goal i gotta take it so i'm taking titans plus three and a half seahawks minus five and a half wow this is a game that i absolutely love rookie quarterback uh, arguably the best home field advantage in the NFL. It's crazy up there in Seattle. Um, let's not act like the Seahawks don't have guys. They got three receivers people like DK, Lockett, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. You know, they can run the ball. You know, Pete Carroll is not there anymore. But, um, you know, uh, was, who's the what's his name? Mike McDonald from, uh, from the Ravens. Uh, obviously, the Ravens have, always have a great defense. Mike McDonald. Hardball disciple, some would say. I think I think that the Seahawks are gonna, you know, take care of the Broncos. I don't love Bo Nix in this spot, even though I think he could be a pretty solid quarterback. Not here in this spot. Uh Sean Payton is gonna have a tough go week one, in my opinion. Next is Chargers minus three. Chargers minus three feels like it feels like a sneaky game. The Raiders are kind of weird. I think I think Jim Harbaugh. I really think the world of Jim Harbaugh, if I'm being honest. I think he's a great coach. I think he's found success everywhere he's been on the NFL and college level. Even though the Chargers personnel on offense don't really move me, what we've seen is they're really building up that O-line. And their, you know, their D-line already has a great pass rush duo of Bosa and Mack. So when you put all this together, okay, is it possible for us to see a Jim Harbaugh you know, just punch you in the teeth in the trenches type team. Yeah, it's very possible. It's what he's done everywhere he's gone. San Francisco, you know, Stanford, uh, obviously Michigan when they won the championship last season. I feel like I feel like this is a good spot. Laying three points. I feel comfortable comfortable with this game. I think Herbert you know, I think I think Herbert is going to be good enough on Sunday. And Gardner Minshew and the Raiders, I don't even want to talk about them. We're not worried about Gardner Minshew. Listen, I'm a Colts fan. I love what he did for us last year. But with that pass rush going on his neck and the Raiders, they don't have a lot of talent. They don't move me. So, you know, I'm taking the Chargers minus three. Last but not least, we have 
my least favorite egg. It's just like that little egg in the corner that's like a piece of shit that I don't really give a fuck about. But, you know, I don't like any of the other lines. So, um, if you're if you're telling me I get Matthew Stafford, that offense, Sean McVay, one of the best week one coaches in the NFL, in a dome, playing against his own team, his old team, I should say, playoff rematch, same setting as well, at Detroit, obviously, I think the Rams are going to score in between 24 to 30 points, so I think it's conceivable, right? I think it's very possible that the Rams can lose this game, sure, but not by more than five, five or more. I just don't see that happening. Now, it's definitely a possibility. The Lions, they're known to score a lot of points. Ben Johnson's done a great job, and it doesn't help that the Rams secondary has been absolutely littered with injuries, including Darius Williams, their number one corner. But to me, I'm going to I'm going to play the uh the risky side. I'm going to take the points, give me four and a half points. I think Matthew Stafford and Sean McVay are going to be dialed in. Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua and all those guys, Kyron Williams, they have a lot of talent on offense. I think they get it done. So to recap, listen, we got Chargers minus 3, we got Seahawks minus 5 and a half. We got Titans plus 3 and a half. We have Rams plus 4 and a half and we have Bengals minus 8 and a half. It feels like a Four win, three win week to me. Week one's always tricky, but you know, I like it a lot. Now, let's address something. I should be talk I should have Colts in there, right? I'm a huge Colts fan. We're at home. I'm a huge Shane Steichen fan. I think I think the world of him. I really think he's gonna be a brilliant offensive head coach for a long time in Indianapolis. However, I am not blind. And I know how bad our secondary is going to be. I, I think we're going to be a bottom five, bottom ten secondary in the NFL, honestly. There's not a lot of talent. I don't trust the corners. And, you know, for that reason, it's hard, you know, for me to put it on the eggs. I mean, the eggs are precious to me, except for that little shitty ram's egg over there. But all the other eggs are precious to me, okay? And I just, I, I don't think, I really, I don't I, like, I'm not positive Colts plus three, Colts plus two and a half is a good play because I could see Stroud torching us for 350 yards. So with that being said, as much as I love our pass rush and the potential of our offense, that I can't bet Colts week one. It's not a good play. It's not smart. So we have our five picks. Thanks for watching. We're going to make a Kentucky rant video here soon. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great rest of your night. Make sure to subscribe so you get notifications for the new videos and that's about it appreciate it guys bye